So hello guys, and welcome to another video. And The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is out now, and it looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to start playing it on Friday, because I have been a little busy with stuff lately. The Thursday releases for Nintendo games hasn't been the best thing for my schedule. But I am looking forward to playing it when I'm able to, and live streaming it and releasing several videos about it, so if you're interested in seeing more Zelda content, definitely consider subscribing. So, the fact that Echoes of Wisdom builds off of the Link's Awakening remake is great. I think that's really cool, since that's my favorite top-down Zelda game, and in general, Echoes of Wisdom seems to be doing quite a lot for top-down Zelda, it actually goes to show that top-down Zelda has a future. Like, they're doing so many things with this. Like, the world is eight times the size of Link's Awakening. The echo mechanic looks really fun, even though it is kind of a, a big gimmick. It does look like it works with the game really well, and it looks like the game was designed behind it pretty well. And now... It seems like Nintendo finally has a consistent plan for top-down Zelda with Grezzo. Because for many years, the future of top-down Zelda was uncertain. Which is why I'm glad we're getting Echoes of Wisdom, and then before we have Link's Awakening, and that was definitely a promising sign of things to come as well. But I feel like now we're kind of fully seeing Nintendo's plans for top-down Zelda. But for a while... It was definitely kind of uncertain. The last true new top-down Zelda game was A Link Between Worlds. Absolutely amazing game, one of my favorite 3DS games, but it did use a world that was directly based on Link to the Past. I know Echoes of Wisdom is also kind of based on Link to the Past, but that's kind of expanding upon it and making it much bigger. Well, A Link Between Worlds was kind of like a direct kind of successor in a lot of ways to A Link to the Past. So while it is an outstanding game, it did use quite a lot of A Link to the Past's DNA. So it didn't feel like completely fresh. So the last like completely just overhauled fresh top-down Zelda game it's honestly spirit tracks at this point like and i mean even then like some people didn't even like like the ds controls and everything i thought it was fine but just for a lot of people this is the first top down zelda game in quite a while that will actually resonate with a lot of people despite its gimmicks and things so it's just been kind of weird with things and then even after a link between worlds there was like a a pretty long gap like we did get triforce heroes but to be completely honest that doesn't really feel like a true top-down zelda for me i mean sure they can categorize it as a mainline zelda game all they want and from what i've heard it is a pretty fun game i'm definitely not gonna say it's like like not a true zelda game or not like a not a, not actually a mainline zelda game because it technically is but at the same time this doesn't really exactly fit the void of top-down zelda games because it's primarily multiplayer focused so after that there was also a bit of a gap as well between then and Link's Awakening. So it was quite a while. So, and then like over a decade, if you're kind of considering like the fact that it, Link's Awakening is just a remake, I mean, it, it's significant, but it, it's still, it still was quite a while since we got the last true top-down Zelda game with A Link Between Worlds. So it was pretty interesting then, like, it seemed like EAD, now EPD, didn't really seem to have much interest in developing top-down Zelda. 
there might have been a few factors in that like maybe a lot of development was like um kind of focused at the time on breath of the wild and things maybe they needed more resources from like the zelda team or uh, like the top down zelda team maybe they had to do various things like that because a lot of resources at that time were going towards breath of the wild so that might be why nintendo didn't make a top-down zelda game for quite a while and started to consider a new developer alongside epd because epd still technically is co-developing the top-down zelda games but they needed a developer to kind of support them or like a developer to do kind of like most of it alongside epd so the idea of grezzo developing the top-down zelda games likely happened around triforce heroes development that would have been a little after a link between worlds so that would have been like during like breath of the wilds development as well like it is crazy how long breath of the wilds development goes back um but it's interesting like it seemed like around at that time they were definitely shifting quite a lot but this transition between like nintendo in-house the grezzo did take quite a while because link's awakening did take a few years to develop since we got that in 2019 and that could have even been like delayed a little bit from another um release date since apparently it was rumored to be a 3ds game about a year before it released so the original release date for link's awakening probably would have been around 2017 to 2018 more realistically 2018 but then was pushed to 2019 since development was theoretically shifted over to the Switch based on rumors and various things that we know. So that kind of explains the gap there. And then Echoes of Wisdom is pretty big in terms of top-down Zelda. Like, it is eight times the size of Link's Awakening in terms of its world map. So that's understandable why that game took about five years, four or five years to develop. It, well... Grezzo also developed Metopia around that time as well, so I feel like some of the resources were going towards that. So this was probably about, I would say maybe four years of development for Echoes of Wisdom, I would say. So, and Grezzo also worked on like multiple other projects as well, which is also probably what contributed to the long gaps in between like top-down Zelda games. But now with Echoes of Wisdom, we're finally seeing the closure here with like Nintendo working with Grezzo to develop these games. And this is the final step, the shifting it over to Grezzo as well. Because originally they did the remakes and Triforce Heroes, and then they did the Link's Awakening remake with the new engine, and then now finally we have like a full new top-down Zelda game. So... This is definitely very promising, and Aonuma also acknowledged that top-down Zelda should exist alongside 3D Zelda, which I also think is a very promising sign as well. Like, I think it's good that Nintendo sees it this way, since there's a lot of charm and appeal to top-down Zelda that is separate from 3D Zelda, especially with things like combat, puzzles, dungeons, just the overall gameplay feels unique in top-down Zelda. And one thing about Echoes of Wisdom that I'm glad about is that it feels like truly, even with like the gimmicks and everything, it still feels like it has that classic kind of perspective and movement, like Link's Awakening and Link to the Past, because it did like move away from that like a little bit, like especially with the DS games. So I'm glad to see that, like, it, it kind of is a true top-down Zelda game in that sense. But there are also many unique ways to expand upon this formula as well, which is why I'm glad they have plans to continue it. Since, like, Echoes of Wisdom has the Echoes, and then there were also gimmicks, like, merging into the walls, 
in Link Between Worlds, which was also a very cool mechanic. So there's also like a lot of potential for like new gimmicks and ideas that they could do. So I think that's definitely like very exciting that we could see more of that in top-down Zelda games. Like really, like throughout most of like like the past two decades when looking at top-down Zelda, like a lot of them have had like some sort of like gimmick in things. Like even going all the way back to like Minish Cap and different things like that. So it's like there's definitely a lot of ideas and things they have for top-down Zelda. So yeah, anyways, I am very excited about Echoes of Wisdom, and I will be playing it pretty soon, but I hope this is a sign of things to come for the future of the Zelda franchise in general, because I think top-down Zelda is definitely a pretty good way of both filling the gaps between, like, 3D Zelda games, as well as standing on its own as like a separate kind of branch of the Zelda franchise, kind of similar to how 2D Mario is kind of a separate thing from 3D Mario, but is still able to coexist. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.